I want a better life for myself. I've got a taste of what life can be like without it. They heard the I'm sorry's too many times. Um, they are fully supportive of me, but every day that I stay sober is, is all they want. I, I want them to grow up and, and have a sober dad. I, I grew up in a family that was alcoholics and I, I just, I wanna break the cycle. After someone leaves residential treatment, they would do some level of aftercare, um, which would be anything from one hour a week to nine or ten hours a week. Um, often we have them come back here for group. And then once that's done, they're kind of on their own. They do come across situations. I've had ladies that say they know the coping skills, and then they get out there and their mind just goes blank. I was nervous about leaving also because, you know, you got to kind of go back out there to the real world where you don't have all the structure and... Um, I don't know, somebody you can talk to right here, you know, there's no option of using really when you're here, you know. HS, uh, which is a smartphone application that is uh, designed to help people leaving addiction treatment um, prevent relapse. Uh, HS is the result of a number of projects that have been going on at the center here for the last five years. We set it up so that it's, there's um, sort of similar to Facebook where you have a network, a support network of people. Um, where you can message and participate in discussion and that kind of thing. Um, there's a meeting locator, helps them find NAAA 12-step meetings in their area. Had one person was able to find meetings in another state, um, so that was helpful. Um, the discussion groups, getting ideas from others when they're struggling with things, whether it be relationships or whatever. Just hearing the people's stories and hearing, hearing how they're doing and what they're doing and and offering what I have done, what has worked for me. The clear advantage for the phone, um, for the clients, it seems to be that social support that they probably wouldn't have otherwise. Not everybody's gonna get to a meeting two or three times a week. A lot of my friends outside um, are, are still on their same paths. It's hard to stay focused around them, so um, kind of gives you just a support group. There's a weekly check-in where we ask them a series of questions to kind of determine where are they in terms of risky behavior versus um, protective behavior. The counselors on the other end get, get a report if they reach a certain threshold on those answers and uh, we'll contact the person. It has allowed me to ask good questions as opposed to how are you doing, I can say things like, you know, it looks like you're not going to church or you maybe you're not spending time with your friends. They see what, what your ratings are and they give you suggestions. Um, you can also look and it gives you like a, a graph of where you're at month to month, so that helps too. The charts are pretty helpful. It looks as though um, we can almost predict what's, you know, when someone's headed for a relapse. When they first get the phone, they, they put in places that they consider to be high risk places for them, the address and zip code or state, street, I mean uh, city, and um, when they get near that location, the, um, the phone will beep them and tell them that they're near and ask them some questions about, you know, is this where they really want to be. What we're trying to design and study are tools that extend the reach of clinicians and require them to dig through less information that's not relevant and actionable for them at the time they see it. HS not only is a support for us to use with the clients, but it's also like a safety net for them. It helps me to express um, and remember where I've been and, and things that I did, maybe even for the future. For me, if I get stuck in a situation again like that. My relationships with my boyfriend, with my children, work, I've got a job, I've got a car. I mean, there's a lot of things. Life is just, in general, way happier if I'm not using. If this was around 10 years ago, there'd still be people that are sober that are using right now. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a comfort system right in your pocket.